How's it going folks? This is Nick Stoll with Stoll's Outdoor. Today we're actually going to do a review. This is the uh, Pathfinder Knife Shop Blank. Got the box right here. Okay, this is the uh, PSK01 Blank. Hope the camera picks that up for you. Again, there will be links in the description. Okay, this is uh, 3 sixteenths thick, 10.95. Okay, I just got this thing in the mail this morning. I've been really excited to try it out, work it over. Promised some guys that I'd really just kind of put a hurting on it. And uh, you know, this was this was shipped to my door for just under $26. Okay, um, I'm looking at the grinds on it. Looking at the tip and everything else, I'll give you some close-ups with the camera, but so far, everything is so clean and crisp and, and the grind marks on it. I mean, I own some uh, some high dollar production knives and, uh, you know, high dollar, I mean, $250, $300 price range from different companies and everything else that, you know, the grinds on them aren't near as clean and uh, even as on this knife okay this is this is really really nice the edges all the way around are sharp okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this in parachute cord just so I can grip it today and I'll work it over okay. out here at the old testing facility so if we know the guys from Self Reliance Outfitters this thing should strike a ferro rod. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some uh, 200 grit, about 220 grit. I'm going to clean up the spine of this knife just a little bit to get the pickling off of it. I bet I'll throw sparks with the ferro rod better too if I do this. Okay, uh, this is uh, Elm. This stuff right here. I think I'm going right through this knot too. And set. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know anything about elm, but it's a very tough, fibrous wood. I cut right through these little knots. Okay, and this piece is actually a little bit green. It just came down from my in-laws. Okay, 
And what I am doing, I consider abuse. Okay? Alright, that's abuse right there. Let's see if I can find that. Another little piece here. Take a piece of this off. Said, I'm gonna beat the crap out of this knife today. No problems with the edge. I did not chip it, I did not roll it. find something a little bit more well you know what let's do it let's go this way let's abuse this thing all right we said we're going to abuse it let's abuse this like I said this is abuse okay this is a that's abuse right there all right we're abusing this knife this is not a practice you want to do all the time. I'm going to drive it actually into this red elm just a little bit. Okay. That's some abuse. That's some that's being mean to a knife in my book. Okay? Like I said, out of the box factory edge right. my wraps coming undone <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix my wrap and then let's go chop a tree down. Okay, I know this video is going to get kind of lengthy, but I really want to do an honest review on this knife, okay? Um, I mean, you know, 26 bucks, guys. This, this showed up on my door for 26 bucks. I've got maybe a buck. No, I don't even have a buck into this parachute cord. Somebody gave this to me. So, you know, 26 bucks out of the box. I can use it for flint and steel. It'll do a ferrule rod just fine. I can baton it, you know, through some really tough wood. And we're going to do some more of that in a minute. But uh, let's beaver chew around this tree. Okay, this is, this is bigger than wrist size. Okay, this is... About that. So I'm gonna say this is about four inches in diameter. I'm not gonna chop, I mean, which I can. I can do a lot of chopping with it. Let's use a baton.
Okay guys, I'm not sure. I think this is a piece of ash. Again, it's about four inches in diameter this way. That's over five this way. See the way it wants to split. Are you getting this on camera? Yeah, I'm still in the frame. Why anybody would need to do this with the knife, I have no idea. Except just to show off like I'm doing. Again. <laughs> this is some brutal testing. For any blade. Lots and lots of don'ts here. Lots of don'ts. Okay, this is not a, a video on what to do. This is a video on what not to do. <laughs> Said, I'm being mean. I'm being really, really mean. asking a lot from this uh, five inch fixed blade doing this. I am really asking a lot of this knife. Just so you guys know. I know there's a lot of guys out there on a budget. And it's hard to want to drop, you know, 100, 150, $200, $400 on a good custom knife. This thing here is doing everything that one of those uh, expensive blades will do for you, okay? This is doing everything I'd ask from a knife, even more. Alright, I mean... You know, this isn't, this isn't product testing. <laughs> this is, I'm abusing this thing. going right through a really nasty uh, section of wood here and uh, <laughs> I don't know guys I, I really don't know what's gonna happen okay but uh, if I break it I, I break it okay but uh, 
you can see what I've done. This is this isn't what you do with a knife at all. Okay? You really shouldn't have to do this with a knife ever in any situation. But it makes for a good video. down there tip I'm thinking the knife's going to win I can just get through this. Oh my. <sighs> Keeps wanting to spring back with that knot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a wedge in here. Okay, holy crap, it did split it all the way. I was putting that wedge in there because the it kept wanting to bounce back out on me. I'm balancing on my head here. Yeah, maybe not. Well, it broke. I mean Anyway, <laughs> that, that's what I asked this knife to do, okay? I asked this knife to go through this, and this thing's actually a little bit green. I cut it down about a month ago, maybe not even a month ago. But, I mean, if you're not impressed with that knife, Probably not impressed with much of anything then. <laughs> that's that's abuse, guys. And every oh man, that is that is nice. And uh, I'll probably never do anything like that again. <laughs> that's insane. That is insane. Now well, my uh, my parachute cord uh, wrapping job is. Uh, Definitely needs work, but uh, this knife, guys, Pathfinder Knife Shop, you do a hell of a job. That's that's quality right there. We get some more close-ups on it, and uh, we'll call that a wrap. Okay, let's do a final close-up on the edge. There's no chips, no rolls. There's your thumbnail test. Okay, that's still... That's still taking hair off my arm. Okay, that's... <laughs> that is insane! That is insane! Dang! God! That, that is awesome. I'm real happy. Okay, so... Again, Pathfinder Knife Shop, guys. And, uh... I'll be doing some handles for this in the future, and uh, possibly I'll try and make a sheath for it. We'll see. Anyway, Nick Stolvestol's outdoor. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.